Mega Praise Ministries. We're out to reach the lost, to bring the lost sheep back home, to build a relationship between God and man, for the worship, the presence, the healing, the restoring. That's what it's about, the restoring of the homes, the restoring of the families, the healing of the bodies, to enjoy the, a relationship with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We love the worship. We love the outpouring of the presence of God. This is what this ministry is all about, Mega Praise Ministries, to see what that was that was lost. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Welcome, and this is Only the Truth. I'm Pastor Manuel Johnson, and we come in your homes a few times a week, and we are happy to be here again. And like I always say to you, every time we come into your homes around the world, the good news is that you don't have to be part of the bad news. And thank you, Mr. Engineer, for that background music. And we have a wonderful anointed program for you today. You know, let me tell you something. And I tell you this all the time. We see all the things that are going around the world. And, you know, they said only news out there is bad news. Where are you wrong? You are wrong. We got to stop listening to the second heaven. We got to stop listening to the demonic world. Things are going on in the kingdom of God. And we've said this before, and I'll say it again. God is still on his throne, but he's just not sitting doing nothing. He's on his throne and he's ruling. He's ruling. The universes, and he has everything under control. Because at the end of the day, my Bible says that all things are going to work itself out for the good for those that love the Lord and are walking according to his purpose. Saints, this is a time of year where you got half of the world excited, and then you got a portion of the world that is not so excited. But, saints, It's always good news when it comes to Jesus. It's always good news. No matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, if you're in Christ Jesus, the Bible says that for us to with severe or weep for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And I don't know, many of you are watching us on Facebook. I want you to share this on Facebook or Instagram. And you're watching us on different networks right now. Saints, The Bible tells us that we as righteous, we were in Christ, that we would fall, but we get up. And I want to encourage you to fight a good fight, to run a good race. I want to encourage you that when you fall, you don't fall backwards, you fall forward. Understand that God has such a perfect purpose for you and I, and you need to just be strong in him. Be strong in him. Be strong in him, saints. And we have a wonderful guest here, Pastor Wes. From what I've seen and what I've been hearing, that he's anointed, his ministry is anointed, focused on no youth. And this is extremely huge. You and I cannot neglect the youth. There are next generation, there are next generals, our next presidents, governors. Police officers, teachers, lawyers, doctors. There are, there are, there are the, the next raising mothers and fathers, parents. You can't, you can't ignore them. Because I'm going to tell you something. Satan doesn't annoy them. You can't ignore them. And I believe with all my might that God is not finished yet with the youth. The Lord tells us to forsake not the youth. Forsake not the children. Don't, don't, do not, you know, we must, we, you know, this world that we live in, if you plant the right seed in the youth, you're going to get the harvest in this generation that we're looking for. So I, I'm going to allow Apostle David Uh, David Andrade, who's with me today. Thank you, David, for being on On The Truth. And thank Pastor you. West, thank you so much. And I want you to introduce our guest. Yes, um, I'm so glad for you that are watching that uh, we have Wes, uh, Pastor Wes Munyon here with us. 
and uh, there's a tremendous work happening in Simi Valley among the youth, uh, especially in the high schools. You know, we shouldn't believe that we can't go to the high schools, but, but here we have a testimony of not just a few uh, youth being saved, but literally thousands of, of youth coming to Christ. And as uh, Pastor Manuel said, <coughs> many things are happening around the world, but at the same time those things are happening, God is still pouring out His Spirit and He's doing it in new dimensions Amen. that we don't even, we can't even conceive. And so in the midst of everything, God is always greater. And I just uh, want to say thank you, Pastor West, for being here. And tell us what's going on with the youth. Yeah, it's exciting to be here. Thank you, Pastor Emmanuel. Uh, we've been uh, in the public schools now, only one private school. Everything else is uh, public for over uh, three years now. We've seen around 5,000 students <laughs> surrender their lives to Christ. And we've seen a move of the Spirit on these campuses. And we've always desired to take it to the next level. So that's why Fields of Faith is happening March 2nd, 2019 at Birmingham High School, uh, the biggest uh, stadium in the entire San Fernando Valley. It seats 11,000. And we're believing for an outpour of the Spirit as we bring all the students from all the campuses, the 20 campuses that we share the gospel on, and then we bring the 40 youth pastors that God's given us the grace to network with, and they're going to bring all their students together, and we're going to bring everybody together into one place, and we're going to believe that the God that said, I'm going to pour out my spirit on all flesh, is going to make good on his word, and they're not just going to surrender their life to Christ with a confession of faith, but they will be on the 50-yard line baptized and they're going to come out of the water and receive the free gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, Pastor West, I mean, I just got Holy Ghost excited. You said 5,000. 5,000 born again. And, and, and this is happening where? All over the San Fernando Valley and mostly public schools. Now you see, that's kingdom news. That's kingdom news. You're not going to get that in the, in the mainstream media. That's kingdom news. You ought to get excited and shout for joy because yes. of what the Lord is doing. Pastor West made it very clear. The prophecy is coming to pass. In the last days, God is going to pour out His Spirit upon all flesh. And then what, what does the next verse says? And your sons and your daughters. I mean, yes. God is dealing with the youth. He's dealing with the youth, saints. It's pouring upon all flesh. Why? Because God wants them in the kingdom of God just like he wants you and I. Just like he wants, just like he wants, uh, you know, our, our fathers, anyone in us. Saints, this is a wonderful time to be alive. It's a wonderful time to get the gospel out. And it's a wonderful time to, 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 to speak words into the youth. Listen, do not think that all they are looking for is that cell phone. They're looking for hope. They're looking for purpose. They're looking for identity. That's right. And if you do not, if we as a church, we're supposed, we're supposed to be happening in the church or happening in the schools, because that's what God did when he came. When Jesus was on this earth, Pastor West, Apostle David, when he was on this earth for, for 32 years, and three of those years was his ministry. What wasn't happening in the synagogues and the temples he, God took him to the streets. He took him to the houses. And he was winning over. He was winning over the youth. He was winning over the tax collectors. He was winning over the centurions, the Roman gods. He was winning over both Jews and Gentiles. Because what was supposed to happen wasn't happening. And this is what's happening now. We, we, what, what, are our, what are we focusing on? Are we focusing on our, our annual league programs? You know, to try to appease the congregation. One of the questions that I love about Jesus is when the Pharisees asked him, they asked him a direct question. He says, why do you fellowship with sinners? And he says, look, when I came, I didn't come for the righteous. I, I you know, those that feel that they're righteous. I came for the un unjust. I came for the sick. A physician doesn't need to heal the sick. But he, I mean, heal the, the well. He needs to heal the sick. And saints, that is our commission. To get the lost. You cannot be born again, you know, in your stomach. You, you know, the kids, they need, they need purpose. 
They are looking for truth. They may not tell you, but they're looking for truth. You and I was created to serve the creation, create the creator. We have to understand that. And God is looking for a people that will open their hearts out for his lost, for his youth. And so when is this revival going to take place? So it's going to be March 2nd, 2019, Birmingham High School's football stadium. Is there a website? There is. There's a studentawakening.net. We also invite you to go on Facebook to the shift dash student awakening and there's Facebook live prayer continually come on uh, people covering the campuses the students we're asking you to join us in intercession and crying out for a generation we want 24 hours a day five days a week intercession prophetic proclamation over these ones calling them out of darkness and into his marvelous light saints I'm gonna tell you something um, we have a video, and Mr. Engineer, can you roll that video regarding the youth, the one we played earlier, and uh, let us know when you're ready. I want to roll this video because I really want you guys to be excited. I want you to be provoked by the Spirit of God to want to go out and be a part of this movement. Listen, the youth is also the apple of God's eye. Remember what happened as disciples tried to shoot them away. The Lord says, don't do that. Do not keep them from the kingdom of God. And every one of them, Jesus blessed and he hugged. And one of the things that he tells us, that's the way into the kingdom as a babe. <clears throat> they need, they were looking too, even in the days of Jesus, they were looking for hope. And the Bible says that when Jesus fed the 5,000 Apostle David and he fed the, the 4,000, some of them he's fed for a few days. You know what happened? It wasn't just men. It was men, women, and children. Mm. So children were sitting amongst them. They witnessed those three-day miracle. They witnessed it. And we're going to go ahead and roll that, that, that clip. So go ahead, and I just want you guys to pay attention. This is something big. of a high school right now. Isn't this what you used to do? Wow. You see this tanya right here? This symbolizes my life back then. And not just that. You see, every time I walk around in the street, my first thought was vandalize, attack the other gang rivals, carry a knife in my pocket. God saved me from getting shot three times. Three times God saved me. His guardian angel was right there. How? And to this day, I don't understand, but I understand one thing. There was a purpose for God, because now I'm, I'm here at the school to bring in the message that was granted to me. Will you come? Will you be the change because you're willing to be changed? Are you going to be a victim or a victor? It's your choice. The time is now. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> The time is now. Where are you going to be? And I know right now many of the youth is watching us. You can be a part of that. You can be a part of this movement. God is calling you. He's calling you, young man, young girl. He's calling you. Why? He's calling you to his kingdom. He's calling you for a purpose. I know, you know, you're born in this world, but God wants you to be born again into his kingdom. And he's got a great purpose for you. What you're seeing now is fading away. 
you know, what man can offer you will not last. But what God offers you is everlasting life. And I know that your hearts are being stirred up, totally stirred up. You know, Apostle David, I'm excited about this because crime rate, not just in California, but in America, has risen in the youth. And, you know, we know what it's, you know, many of it started from the time they took prayer out of school. Well, you know, the, the enemy had his heyday. But, you know, I, what I love about this is, it's just God, he still has a way of penetrating the darkness in this society. He really does. And his love for his creation goes before, beyond what we can even imagine. I, I think that this youth mood that's happening, this youth mood that's happening, is going to spread. It's going to spread throughout the United States because you, you, you hear about this happening in other parts of the world, Australia and all the, and, and they're doing a great job. Praise God. God is you purring. But we can't forget the United States. You know why we cannot forget the United States? Pastor West, 90% of the gospel comes from the United States. 90% 90 of, 90, 90 of missionaries come from the United States. 90% of, 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 of the money that goes out to when, when there are disasters are around the world comes from the United States. 90%. So why would God turn his back on, on this nation? No. And we are hurting now. Spiritually, we are hurting. We are hurting politically, you know? We are, we are hurting. And, and, and God hasn't turned his back on the United States. Because we're helping right now as I speak. Right now as I speak, if you anywhere around the world, if you have any kind of satellite device, anything, it's coming from the United States. And we haven't stopped that. No matter what's going on, we haven't stopped singing the gospel. So if the youth is getting saved around the world, it's time to bring it back home. Glory to God. It's time to bring it back home to where it, it started. So you know what? And, and I, 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 I'm, I just had to say that. It was just in me. So listen, I want to have Pastor West give that website again. And if you want, you know, to sow a seed and support the ministry and contact them or be a part of it, give it again. Give that and information. And a phone number, Pastor West. So we have studentawakening.net. Mm -hmm. And then we have a Facebook page called The Shift-Student Awakening. And we'd love for you to contact us. A phone number uh, to contact us, 805-807-4050. Call us, contact us, email us. We'd love to work with you. We'd love to invite you to come into this harvest field and reap this amazing harvest with us or send us financially. And we're all going to eternally receive those rewards together. Desi, if you cannot be there, you can send your seed. You can send your support. And that is recorded and, and it's accounted to you you know, in your kingdom account, according to Philippians 4. And I believe that. I believe that. So you can support it by a donation and sowing it. Remember, it is vital that we remember the youth in this nation. It is vital that you do not turn your back on this. It is vital that you pray about it. Pray about what you can do about this event. Think about it. And now I'm going to also deal with our ministry. And we've been coming in your home several times a week uh, through the radio, uh, through the uh, television. And so we have our book here. It's called God's Air Force. This is our newest book here. And we want to get it into your hands. And we're doing a very special this month for the season. Whatever amount that you give, we want to sow this back in. We're going to sow this book into your life. It's a very powerful book from my dear wife, Dr. Shiva Johnson. 
very powerful on the Air Force, on the Army of God. Powerful revelations. And many people have been truly blessed by it. We just want to get that into your home, into your life. And so as you sow into our ministry, we want to sow back to show us our, our appreciation that you're supporting us. We're on in 35 uh, nations and then some of the other ne networks that we air this on is 100 million homes. So the Lord opened up a major door for this ministry. And so that's why we have a lot of prayer requests here. And we're going to be praying. We're going to be praying right now. And, and uh, Pastor West, come on over here. And I want you to just for the next minute. And Apostle David, come on over here. Remember your mic, David. Remember your mic. Your mic, David. Yeah, you go. We're going to lay hands on here. And we're going to pray. You see, I believe in, in the power of prayer. I believe, and this is not just, these are also for the youth. I mean, there is they're young, uh, mature, every, around the world. We're going to just lay hands on and We're going to touch and agree and believe the Lord for right now. We, Lord, we, we know that you can save, that you heal and you deliver. Father, we just pray, Lord, that, that the breakthroughs will go out, that you would answer these prayers from around the world. Father, we thank you right now. Go ahead, uh, Pastor, Pastor West, go ahead and just pray for the next 15 seconds. Yes, Lord, Father, we thank you that the answer is already in your heart, and we yes. thank you that we have access to your heart. And we come boldly into mm. it, and we receive that answer, and we proclaim it is well. It is yes. finished. It is done in Jesus' name. Yes. Pastor David. Yes, Lord, we come to you before your very throne. And we thank you, Lord God, that... This is an opportunity for you to show yourself on behalf of those that have needs, wherever they are, Lord God. You are a miracle-working God. Yes. You are great and greater than any situation and circumstance that we have. And I just feel your presence right now mm. as you pour yourself on everyone, Lord God, that has a need, whether they are here uh, in, in request or whatever it is, Father, by your blood and by what you did for us at Calvary, Lord God. You are saving and delivering, Father, del uh, and bringing people out of bondage. But especially, we thank you today for your gift of everlasting yes, life. Lord. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So I believe God, he, he hears, he delivers, he sets free. So no matter what the situation is, there's nothing too hard for the Lord. So uh, you, have, uh, you are connecting your faith with our faith, okay? And we believe in God for your breakthrough, in Jesus' name. And, you know, those that get a hold of our ministry, you go to MeccaPraiseMinistries.com. You know we have a 24-hour prayer line. You can call that number. We'll pray with you. Someone will pray with you. We want to connect with you. We want to help you and minister to you. So feel free to call that, 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 that line 24-7. You can call right now. Call right now, and the person will pick it up and pray with you. So I thank the Lord for that, and we just want to connect with you. And uh, one of the things that's important, that is, where are you going to spend eternity? Yes. You know, the Lord paid, he paid a price that he never owed, and you owe a price that you can never pay. The Bible tells us, on that cross, God gave us something. He gave us a peace treating on that cross, a peace treating with God. But the Bible also says to seek him while he may be found. So that peace treating will not always be available. There will be a time when that peace treating will be with, withdrawn, and if you don't know the Lord, you know, it's too late. But right now, you can have peace with God, not through your works, not through your, not through your acts, but through his blood, his blood sacrifice on the cross. You can have peace with God. How do you do that? By calling on the name of the Lord. His name is Jesus. Jesus to the Gentiles. Yahshua to the Jews. He is the Messiah. Yes, he is. You just go ahead, read the book of Psalms. Read Isaiah 53. He is the Messiah. Yeshua. Call upon his name. We all have to enter one way, both Jew and Gentile, through the blood of Christ, through his blood sacrifice. Jesus, come into my life. I believe you are the son of God. I believe you died and you rose for me. I believe through you and you only I can obtain salvation and eternal life. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life, Lord, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Yeah. If you pray with me with all your heart and you meant it, God has saved you. He has saved you right now. Something man can't do, something your money can't do, something your work cannot do. He's done it. It's done. Now you have eternal life. Congratulations. 
Hallelujah. And we have a special, yeah, that's right. And we have a special treat here. And, you know, before we close out, I'm going to uh, have a, a dear friend of mine, and she is a flagger for the Lord. And, she's, and she dances before the Lord. And, you know, we just really appreciate her. She's just, uh, she's been such a blessing in our ministry. And, and she's ministered and, and danced and, 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 uh, and flagging and dancing before the Lord. And my wife just loves it when she comes and she does this because it opens up a portal. And the Lord has used her in many parts of the world, not just here in California. And so I want you to be blessed by this. As we play, our engineer plays Jehovah Jireh. Sonia, let the Lord use you. Amen. Jehovah, God of creation. He is Jehovah, Lord God. 